Maple Leaf Man. Here in Toronto on the 20th of January. It's Inauguration Day in the United States. And it's just another cold day here in Canada. 12 or 13 below zero right now, as a matter of fact. I was just out in the sun and the snow taking uh, some pictures. And I thought what I would do for you guys is put a poem up. I'm going to, uh, I wrote a poem the other day. Yay! And I'm going to uh, read it while, uh, and then I'll put the words under the screen so that you guys can uh, follow along as you like to do. And this is called The uh, Sounds of Winter. I think it is the sounds that you notice first. The crispy crunch of snow under your boots. The silence when you stop and hold your breath. Then your breath, sometimes the only sound except the wind. Split into a hundred pieces by the bare branches of the maples. Sliced into millions of pieces by the pine and spruce needles. Each piece making a tiny whistle all its own. Some high, some low. Almost a moan when they are put together into one. A jay chatters off and away. A lonely sound of winter, then a D D D above you, and you know the bouncing happy bird is close. The other bird of winter, less lonely, less angry somehow, a happy call to no one except another chickadee, or to no one except you. So listen well. If it's cold enough, and surely it is sometimes, you will hear the cracks, the cracks of the ice in the pond, some close, some far, right, some right under your feet. Then far off, maybe near the jay, the crack of a tree trunk or a limb under pressure from the iciness, pressure from within, pressure that you don't feel, pressure you have forgotten here in the woods with just the snow and the cold and yourself. Okay, so that one's called The Sounds of Winter. And because we're heavily into winter now, snow's all around us and it's in January, the coldest month of the year, I wrote another one. So that's two poems in two days. And I haven't written much in years. Okay, here's another one. This is called Another, another Snow Poem. The wind and the snow, the snow and the wind, working in tandem. The snow supplies the material, the wind carries the tools, the brush, the hands, the palette knife. Sometimes they work in unison, furiously, intensely, but not insanely, no matter how crazy it seems. Sometimes one takes over, like a tag team duo. When one tires, the other is there for support. The two stop, the snow stops, the wind sorts, the wind dies a bit, the snow piles on. Sometimes there is a final tag and the two team together in a crescendo of furious activity. The snow always tires first, the wind always continues on. Just some minor housekeeping duties, just some minor works to be finished, sculpting the residue into perfect curves, perfect peace, peaks, perfect art. The most perfect art we ever see. So that's it. Two snow poems for you guys. And uh, I hope you're all doing well with your English. I talked to some of you online. A lot of you are actually on holiday right now. Um, Chinese New Year's coming up, the Spring Festival. A lot of my friends in China are free until the end of February. And some of them only have 10 days off or so. But uh, Happy New Year to you. It's not for another four or five days, but uh, I might not make another movie before then. So Happy Chinese New Year. Happy Spring Festival. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun making it. Bye-bye, Maple Leaf Man, over and out.